hello twin flames thank you for being here for liking subscribing and all the amazing comments and feedback you leave me it means the world as you know and if you are new to the channel welcome subscribe join our family because we're here for you every day so i'm going to use three decks of cards today we're going to bring in the beautiful quantum oracle the gorgeous animal kin oracle and the spirit animal oracle so we're going to really connect with the energy of nature and the animal kingdom to bring in messages because we're all connecting with so many signs right now synchronicities the way the universe is showing us this journey is real so what do we need to know so what's the energy please angels around the connection today thank you the energy around the divine feminines and the energy around the divine masculines what do we need to know there it is what's the energy please angels around the connection today the energy around the connection what do we need to know what do we need to know the energy around the divine feminines and the energy around the divine masculines please the energy around the masculine there we go and the energy around the connection what do we need to know for the connection today there it is the energy around the divine feminines wow i'm taking them i feel that's the card and these are clarifying cards i'm going to put them to one side and the energy around the divine masculine so sometimes when cards fall out of the deck that way, I feel there's too many, but I feel there's messages in here, which is really powerful. And we've been having this happen a lot over the last few days. So the energy around the connection is transformation. And once again, we've got the snake. Now, the snake came up yesterday and I got this shaky energy from that. So things shaking around, things changing, tower moments, chaos, upheaval to be released so the snake is all about release you know the snakes shed their skin and they kind of are reborn into their freshness so this is a transformation into the new and you know snakes can also be scary you know, it's how we see things everything is neutral it's our perception that makes it scary or good so i don't ever see snakes as scary i see them as a beautiful symbol of a new beginning and faith to have faith in regeneration because there's a regeneration taking place right now and we've got a hidden motivation so what i'm feeling with this is there's a hidden motivation in all things so i feel you know if your divine masculine sends you a message and it's not how you expect it to be it could be about money work something simple there's a hidden motivation there's a reason he wants to open the door so the masculines need to open that door and they need to reach out to you. And in their mind, they need a reason to do that. They may just send a high message and you may think, you know, is that all you've got for me after all this time? But it's a way in. Or they may ask you a question, something completely unrelated with your journey or your connection or the love you share. Don't get triggered. He's looking for a way in. So I'm seeing this card as the masculine's intention is to find a way into your heart and your life through a simple message, something that brings them back to you, something that opens the door to your union. So the door to your union is opening and that's a milestone. Be proud of yourself. Listen to the messages coming in from your higher self. And before I even go into these cards, I've got angel bumps. Look at this. We've got snake in this deck. And in this deck, we've got snake, snake spirit. It says time to heal. Now, you may feel like your masculine has behaved like a snake. You know, if someone's nasty or, you know, somebody's slippery or slimy or back and forth, we say that person's a snake. You know, if we feel like they're a cheater or, you know, they're betraying it in some way, we say that person's a snake. You have to listen to your higher self because your higher self knows the truth. Your masculine is not a snake. He's transforming. He's growing. He's owning up. And the thing is, we have to see that we are one with our twin. You know, we are one. So if you're judging your masculine or saying nasty things about them, or even if it's from what you feel as a learning point of view, then that's how you're feeling about yourself because you are one. So remember, in hindsight, if your masculine is doing nasty things to you or hurting you or feeling like, you know, they can't go on or whatever they're doing, it's through their own pain. 
That's how they're feeling about themselves. It's not a reflection of you or the person you are. It's a reflection of them and what they are healing. So it's a time to heal. So there's a lot of healing energy taking place. And it's time to heal the connection by moving it forward. So the masculines want to make it right. You know, this is a time for healing. They need a way in. That door is opening. The lock and the key, the key is opening that lock. So you may see padlocks today, keys, locks, doorways, because it's a sign of opening up. And the snake is showing you things are not always what they see. Stand out. You know, I'm seeing this snake as he's standing up ready to strike. So we have to stand down as a divine feminine, which means we have to be less defensive and more open. And the masculines have to take their barriers down too. So I'm feeling barriers coming down so communication can come in. And that's what your higher self is aware of. Things are changing. Something is on the way. And there's events coming in that are going to bring in a milestone. So right now, this is a milestone in your connection. This is a pivotal time of power and truth to move things forward and bring in change. And I feel that's why all these cards have come out as clarifiers, which we're going to do at the end. So give yourself credit so far how far you've come. And remember right now, this is a milestone in your journey. So again, it doesn't matter how long you've been on the journey, what's happened before, the time is now. So Divine Feminine, we've got the giraffe, wow. So the giraffe is about standing tall and seeing things in a different way. This is all about perception. It's about you seeing things from a higher point of view, seeing things with the eyes of love, not fear, rising above the ego and the struggle seeing things as the observer and when something happens that may trigger you or you may be about to say something process what you're feeling and say isn't that interesting what is this teaching me about me and my life because you're also releasing loss you know you're not at a loss right now you're at a gain because your ship is about to come in you can't lose your twin you are one if they seem to have walked away from you or even let you go, they will come back because they do, because you're meant to be, you are one and your ship is coming in. So if you're feeling lost today, if you're in pain or struggle, rise above and feel free and you've got the rabbit spirit, now is a lucky time and I'm also seeing that like a squirrel because squirrels gather and they're showing me as well the leaves which are like the fall season so things fall away to fall together so the squirrel gathers information the squirrel understands through what they experience not just in a physical way but through their spiritual senses so this is you divine feminine gathering everything you need preparing for your union getting ready and the rabbit is a big symbol of change rebirth resurrection healing a new beginning ahead so the message is it's a lucky time now again it doesn't matter what's happened before the time is now and for the masculine we've got wow i mean this is powerful because we've got the ibis with acceptance but i'm also seeing this as a card of perception the way they are seeing the journey is changing the way they are dealing with things is changing they are in an energy of acceptance they can do this and they're also receiving professional assistance so this may be getting advice from a solicitor or a lawyer or someone about finances or divorce or change they may be getting financial advice they may be talking to a friend and that friend is giving them some advice in a very professional way they may be tapping in with their guides and angels or doing things online and we've got the canary spirit sing your own song so i definitely feel that this is the masculine wanting to do it their way to sing their own song to speak their truth they may also be communicating with you again today through music or signs. And I love that we've got this yellow canary because, you know, I had a dream the other night about yellow budgerigars. And I felt that was a great symbol of Archangel Gabriel coming through, saying good news is on the way and communication has been restored. So the clarifiers, we've got the wolf spirit again. It says turn knowledge into wisdom. So the wolf is coming through again saying, remember your power. You are a spiritual being. You are psychic. You are telepathically linked. We've got the wombat spirit, be at home. Be at home, which means enjoy your day. 
enjoy your life be at home in the skin you're in be confident in who you are and we've got the koala spirit as a plant and we've been seeing the koala lately to remind you of that and we've got the lion have faith be generous of spirit to remember how strong you are we've got the turkey give with gratitude and grace and i feel this also big message of the energy that came in around the lion's gate and that's continuing forward towards thanksgiving christmas time the new year and the swan time for a deep dive the swan is also the great symbol of the divine feminine to have faith to have confidence and to work together as a team time to collaborate the jigsaw pieces of that puzzle are fitting together you're working together as a team so let that bring in peace be peace be at peace focus on peace and know that the beetle is saying that the magic works through you when we had this the other day the scarab beetle in another deck so the beetle is about magic power gathering information and the buffalo is saying the abundant universe will provide so we have to trust the universe to move things forward things are happening in a divine way so the giraffe is around the feminine today because that's reminding you to see things from a higher point of view when you get triggered ask yourself why what are you learning how are you dealing with things what's going on inside and then make a vow to change change your perception see things differently speak with optimism and power instead of judgment and pain feel free and your masculine wanting to find a way in so they're definitely trying to find a way in i feel this energy coming in over the weekend too so if you receive a message or something out of the blue that may seem a bit crazy or doesn't make sense to you it's because the masculines are trying to find a way in so allow them in divine feminine because they really do love you and they really do care i hope this helps have a great day and i'll see you soon